Hello and welcome to the Telegraph Studio. I'm Alastair Greener and today we're talking about the Internet of Things. And joining me is Steve Wainwright from Freescale Semiconductor. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, tell me, what exactly is the Internet of Things? It's a system that will deliver in the future uh, much better health care at a more affordable price. It'll deliver environmental care uh, for our smart cities and it'll deliver road safety uh, at a level that's never been seen before. Now you're promising an awful lot there, so tell us exactly how it works. Give us an example. Car insurance is a good example to take uh, to really explain the way it operates. If you consider the situation now before the Internet of Things, Largely, you pay for car insurance whether you use it or not. Um, you, if you ever have a claim, the insurance company has to investigate and find out what happened, and you get no reward at all for your personal safe driving. Just imagine you had a connected car. Uh, in that situation, you could pay for insurance when you use it, which is much more effective, obviously. If there ever was a claim, the data would be there, so that would shorten the time to settle a claim, and that would provide a benefit that you could imagine being passed on to the individual. And of course, your good driving habits could be recognised and rewarded with lower premiums. But here's the challenge. You're talking about solutions for today's problems. But the truth of it is there are millions of devices being produced and sold and used every single year that all will eventually be connected to the Internet. So is this actually really sustainable? Well, first thing to say is that it's not millions, but billions, in fact. The, the latest market data suggests 50 billion connected items by 2020. So it is a, a true uh, awesome challenge. Having said all of that, this technology exists today. So the sensing devices, the processors, and the connectivity that brings it all to, together is all around us at the present time. The key thing that we have to do is find a way to manage all of these connections. There are many ways of doing that. An example is uh, Google with uh, mesh networks uh, called Thread. Uh, they have found a way of linking devices inside the house that are already existing uh, to form a really productive way of managing your home. We'll get all up together. Well, talking of problems, one of them is going to be, as you said, billions of devices all connecting to the internet. We're all going to be a bit concerned about the security involved with all this data floating around. Security is a constant journey. It's not a one-time event. So there are protocols, there are standards, there are solutions in hardware and software to provide security. But you're absolutely right. You have to keep working it. Uh, at Freescale, we provide a layered approach with devices uh, that will have cryptography at one end. Uh, they will have uh, authentic authentication. Uh, and also, at the lower end, there will be things that stop you physically tampering with devices. So a layered approach to security. The thing that will happen with new companies is that they may not have security at the top of their network of uh, things that they need to do. We at Freescale spend a lot of time working with startups to try and get them to have the ability to build in the security right from the beginning of their experiences. Okay, let's say that you've won me over and I've decided to embrace this Internet of Things. My concern is going to be I've already got a large portfolio. How can you integrate that into the Internet of Things and how are you going to be able to actually do it? First thing to say is you're surrounded by many more sensors than you know, uh, plenty in your telephone. Um, in domestic appliances such as washing machines and refrigerators, there are sensors and there's uh, many, many sensors in your car. The real challenge is connectivity, is connecting them together to make sense. Uh, that, I think, can be done uh, by creating good networks to do this. And it's really about how we manage that network um, complexity uh, in the future. The other thing that's a massive challenge for us in the future is low power. We need to be able to have sensors that need virtually no maintenance. You couldn't imagine 50 billion items needing a battery change. So we have to find techniques to do that. And that's what the industry works very hard on. Tell us about Freescale. How do you help my business bring the Internet of Things to a reality? Freescale is in a unique position because of the breadth of offering that we have. We have products from the very tiny devices that go at the edge of the network, like tiny sensors using virtually no current, uh, all the way through to the big multi-core processors that do the interface to the cloud. 
Along the way, you have a, a whole range of different devices for gateways and also for graphical representation of what's happening in the system. So that's the hardware offering. But in addition to that, um, we offer a lot of software and tools for developers to be able to get a, a really quick start on the, the task of, of building their system. Uh, security is also a big issue. We have a layered approach to security, uh, and that is a fundamental of what people will need, like your company, um, to bring the IoT to reality. You've mentioned a lot of different industries and applications for the Internet of Things. I'd like to put one idea to you. For example, I'm a car manufacturer, and I've literally got tens of thousands of cars on the road at any one moment. All of a sudden, the system breaks. The situation now without the Internet of Things is that that happens on a regular basis. We see traffic jams, we see accidents, we see bad driving uh, in London and Paris and who knows how many other capital cities. The situation with the Internet of Things is that we can manage our resources an awful lot better. Uh, we can take uh, the, the methodology of the automotive industry to make fail-safe systems that will dramatically improve driving uh, and safety for pedestrians and road users in general. You've talked a lot about the advancements of the Internet of Things and this rapidly changing technology. So let's actually look into the future a little bit. Where do you see the Internet of Things, say, in 10 years' time? I think it'll be all around us, and my hope is it'll be so pervasive we don't even realize it's there. Uh, that, strangely, is, is when you've reached success. So smart agriculture culture, patient monitoring, uh, provision of uh, health care to individuals in their own homes. Um, the, all of those sorts of applications will take advantage of the Internet of Things. But paradoxically, we need to make this technology disappear so people aren't aware of what's going on in the, back, in the background, and it's just part of our everyday lives. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very exciting and technological life in the future. Steve Wainwright from Freescale Semiconductor, thank you very much. Thank you.